Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm very happy that you are here. My name is Amanda Oakling and we are here to make this sweet pastry world a little bit more extraordinary. In my previous video, I showed you how to make a buttercream and there I tell you a one secret that I don't like a buttercream inside the cakes. That's why I'm here to show you my favorite red velvet cake without buttercream. Uh, the cream will be a very fluffy and nice cheese cream and let's go! For this recipe we need quite a lot of ingredients but this is the favorite recipe of mine and I think it will get your too. Uh, I'm not joking, in all these nine past three years I made more than 5000 red velvet cakes. It's very popular here in North Europe and all in the world. Uh, what you need? You need the sugar. It's a quite big amount, but don't worry. It will raise your cake and get it more fluffy. Uh, then you will need oil and buttermilk. Oil could be any what you use in your kitchen. And buttermilk you can substitute with yogurt or maybe sour cream. Uh, depends on what you have in your fridge. Then you will need all-purpose wheat uh, flour, just regular ones. Eggs. Uh, cacao and food dye and the main ingredient is soda and baking powder and of course an acid. This is the easy recipe because you need only one bowl, you put everything in it, mix it together and it's ready. Sugar combined with oil and buttermilk and add an egg. You can use a hand whisk or hand mixer. You don't need a stand mixer right now. And combine these ingredients together, just about one minute. When you finish first whisking process, it's very important next step to add an acid and baking powder and soda in this moment. And the last ingredients, last three ingredients, will be flour, and the cacao and red uh, food color. I prefer to use a powdered one, and I add it to the flour. Flour. Combine all the ingredients till it's mixed together about one, two minutes. Okay, and the finished touch will be with spatula because the floor is on your bowl. Okay, we'll need to bake, of course, our butter. Uh, cake mold, foil, and baking sheet. I love many techniques how to bake um, sponges, but one of them is foil balls. You use your cake ring and put around a foil. And you have cake mold when you, where you will put your butter and bake. We will need two of them. Next step is uh, divide your butter on two parts and put inside your mold and then bake on 180 degrees of Celsius about 15 minutes. I love this technique because you will have a thin layers of the sponge
While or sponge in the oven, I will show you how to make cream. And as I promised, it will not be a butter cream, it will be a cheese cream. And we will need a cheese cream. It could be all kind of Philadelphia cream or what you prefer to use, but uh, make sure it's thick cream. It's uh, a lot of butter inside and it get thick when you whip it. Then you need a sugar and a whipping cream. And I know in many countries there's different whipping creams. You need that these very 33 or 35% of fats. Uh, double cream or whipping cream. Add your cheese cream to the bigger bowl. If you prefer, use a stand mixer. I will use a hand kitchenaid mixer. First step, add in sugar. You will need a whipping attachment. And slowly try to beat together sugar with cream cheese. It has to be softer. After two or three minutes, it gets softer and you need to add a cold, heavy cream, whipped cream, and beat all together till it's fluffy. When cream is ready, put it in the fridge and wait when your sponges are completely cooled. When they will be completely cooled, we will press it out and assemble our cake. First of all, take off the top of the sponge. We need a flat. Use leftovers for pop cakes or other sweets. And turn around your sponge, making from one layer two layers. Don't worry if your sponges are not perfect. Some of them will be rounded shaped and some of them have small pieces. You will stick it together when you will assemble a cake. Okay, we are ready to assemble a cake. We made the cream, we baked the sponges and now make it together. Uh, we have a cake ring. I'm that person and that pastry chef who using rings um, because it's really cleaner and after that you will have a straight and nice cake. Uh, you will need a cardboard and I'm very very suggest you to use an acetate sheet. You can uh, buy it in the big, big gross or, or how you want and you need to put it inside the cake ring. Cake ring has to be some millimeters bigger than your uh, sponge. If my sponge right now is 16 centimeters, then my ring is 16 and a half. I'm again will use a piping bag. You will need a half cream right now for two layers. We have four layers. And first of all, we will done two layers. This cream is kind of uh, stable. You can pipe it on the cupcakes uh, or put in the cakes as we do right now. Always stick a little bit cream on your board and then only put a uh, first layer of the sponge. And make sure your first layer is the straightest sponge which you have. and squeeze out a half a cream what you have inside your piping bag all around line by line if you prefer you can put inside berries but this is a classic one on the middle of the cake try to find your not perfect layers for example this one i have an edge without a full part it's okay if it's not perfect, put it like in a puzzle, just take small piece and where you have an empty gap, fill it with sponge. Press it completely till it's flat and repeat with the cream and sponge. Thank you. 
And you can use your small spatula to smooth out the top layer. We smooth out the top of the cake and it will be just perfect when you put it into the fridge about 4-7 hours. But right now we will decorate it already. We will take off the mold and decorate with berries and macarons. Uh, as we are not stabilized uh, this cake on the fridge, you see the cream come out from the layers. Uh, but after stabilization it will be very smooth and good on the layers. Take your small spatula and smooth out the sides of the cake. Just a little bit. Make it a little bit messy, half naked. I imagine that this decoration could be on the circle and we'll put the macaroons and then around them strawberries and blueberries. When I finish decorating with berries and macaroons, I make a half circle around my cake. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I showed you how we make a red velvet cake without a buttercream. And if you liked the video, thumbs up and see you every Thursday on the next video. Subscribe my channel and see you soon.